Hi everyone. Getting ready for our flow and restore in one minute. Hopefully people can come. Seconds left to go. Hello, person. Okay, so flow and restore. Today my theme is moving from the element of fire, action, movement, to the element of earth, which is stability, supportive. And we've got a flow and restore, so if you want to find a nice big book to use as a block, we are going to use um, something that is chair height, so we're going to lean forward on it. Um, I have a little, like, table, so something that's about chair height, chair seat height, we'll use later in class. Also, towels, blankets, pillows, cushions, um, anything that you want to support the second half of the practice, which is restorative. So, let's get started in a seat. Maybe put something underneath your sit bones so you can sit tall and comfortable. Uh, also have a washcloth for eyes later. And as you find a comfortable seat, let your body become heavier. Let your weight be held by the floor, by your towel or blanket support. Let yourself rest in between gravity and the support of the earth. We'll take three big breaths in the nose, out the mouth. yourself to your surroundings. Notice any sounds that are happening around you. I have a cat playing <laughs> with bags that I might have to take away from her. Notice the hum of the fan, the refrigerator, Maybe some creaks and groans in your house. Catching all the sounds that are coming in without judgment, without needing to even know what it is, just hearing deeply. And then we'll turn that listening to our breath, to our body. Notice the breath as it moves in the nose and in the space by the nose. Notice the breath as it moves up and down the throat. Notice the breath in the collarbones, in the ribs, in the upper back. the breath in the legs, the shoulders, maybe even feel your breath in the soles of your feet and the palms of your hands. If the eyes are closed, flutter them open, remove any support that you have, and find a child's pose. Big toes kiss, knees come wide. Hips sink back toward the heels, arms can reach overhead. Alternately, you can bring the knees together and have the arms rest back. 
Just notice what feels more inviting in the body, a way in. Big breath here, as you exhale, let any thoughts that are in your head move down into the mat, into the earth. Inhale to come up. We're gonna find an extended cat-cow. There's always the caveat that if this isn't working for you, find what is. So as you inhale, lift the head, lift the hips. Exhale, sit the hips back, curl down. Inhale, the spine comes up first. Exhale, belly drops, head and hips lift. Sink back down. So kind of making a circle. Spine pulls you up. Inhale. Exhale, drop the belly, sink the hips back. Two more breaths. And then you know my favorite thing is some organic movement, so maybe circles in the hips, maybe some tail wag side to side. Anything else that's speaking to you, you can find a regular cat-cow. Just noticing the body, checking in with what's going on in this moment. What are you feeling? Where are you feeling it? Sometime in the next three to five breaths, we'll start to find our first down dog. I like to come from a plank position and then hips move up and back, push into the fingers, push into the knuckle pads and keep that movement going. So lots of movement, lots of talking with the body, creating that dialogue. How does your body feel in down dog today? Exhale, deep, 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 bend in the knees, feel the spine grow long, and then baby step the feet up to meet the hands. Into ragdoll, deep bend in the knees, let everything go, let gravity take over again. Again, see if you can let yourself be held by the floor and by gravity, taking as much work or effort out of this pose as possible. You can do a couple elephant trunk swings with the torso. You can nod the head yes, shake the head no, releasing anything that's not necessary here. Inhale, long legs, long spine. Exhale, fold forward, straight legs this time. Root down through the feet, rise up, reaching up and into our standing. From here we're going to move each of our joints. So starting with the left toes, just kind of circling the toes on the floor. One direction, and then the other direction. Step the foot back into a sole stretch. I bend my knee kind of until you feel it on the sole of your foot. Toes back, top of the foot stretch. Briefly push down the outer edge of your foot. Briefly push down the inner edge of your foot. Shake it out. A couple times toes grow wide, curl in. I use my hand to help me, it helps. <laughs> All right. Other foot, starting with some small circles. and changing the direction. Into our sole stretch, so step back, toes curl under, knee is bent, and then it's, it's kind of a lean and experiment to see where you can feel that in your foot. Toes back, top of the foot stretch. Push down the outer edge of your foot, push down the inner edge. Toes spread, curl in. And shake it out. Into the knees, big toes kiss, heels can be apart, bend the knees, very small circles to start, just feeling. This doubles as a dance move if you're ever in need. And if it feels good, you can go faster, slower, bigger, exploring the space in your knees, hips, feet. Slow 
slowing down and we'll change direction. Again, start small, lots of listening, and then you can get bigger and bigger, faster, slower, whatever feels good. Up into the hips, step the feet wide, knees bend. I like to do figure eight, so we're bending the, pushing the right hip forward and back, left hip forward and back. If you prefer big circles, you're welcome to do that. Nice and slow here, noticing all the little poses, all the little micro movements, all the sensations. Slow down, we'll change direction. So hip comes uh, back, right hip goes back and then forward, back and then forward. There we go. Nice work, everyone. Again, noticing all the little movements, not in a hurry. Nowhere else you need to be, nothing else you need to be doing. All right, from here, feet step about hip distance apart. I like my arms in front. We're just going to extend our cat cow. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, curve. Knees can bend here to push away from you. Inhale, lift and open. And exhale, push. Three more breaths all the way in, all the way out. All right, coming back to neutral, feet step wide. Make sure you have space around you so you're not gonna hit anything. And we'll move into windmills. Arms swing, flop and follow. Again, doing this with as, as little effort, as little work as possible. Maybe reaching up one heel and then the other as you twist for five, four, three, two, one. All right, soften back into the center. Shoulder rolls, maybe the elbows help support. Nice, big, feeling all the corners of movement in your shoulders. In the other direction. Into the elbows, bend and straighten a few times. And then maybe find some circles in the elbow joint. In the other way. All right, neck, chin comes down to the chest. Roll over to the right. Back forward, over to the left. So option to stay just with this movement. Rolling back and forth, again, noticing, slowing down, feeling every transition shape between the two shapes. If this feels good, next time you come to the right ear, stay, bring your nose to your shoulder, ear to your shoulder, and you can do that a couple times. Ear to shoulder, roll back your center, over to the left, maybe keep moving, maybe nose moves down, ear, nose, ear. Lots of listening, the neck can be tender for a lot of reasons. Back through center and up. Hands come forward, curl the fingers down and in, roll the knuckles towards the earth. Rotate the wrists or arms so that the fingers are pointing up. Palms open forward, unroll. So this is tiger claws. I'll come closer. Curl in, roll up, rotate down, lift the knuckles, uncurl the fingers. Curl down and in, knuckles down, rotate and open. Nice and slow. Curl in, knuckles up, rotate down, and unfurl. One more time, curling in nice and strong. You should feel this. Keep going. 
last time. Curl in, nice and strong. Keep breathing, rotate down. Oh, so close. Right, shake it out. Arms reach up overhead like we're gonna raise the roof. Woo. Push, let your right fingers, you can't see, right fingers turn towards the left side of your body, catch that wrist so your palm is facing up. Feet step hip distance, maybe a little wider, gentle side, lean and bend. From here, if you wanna play with balance, you can lift one foot or the other foot. We've got three breaths. Steady in, steady out. Inhale, carries you back up to center. Push, raise the roof with your hands. Left fingers turn to the left. Catch that wrist. Palm is facing up. Gentle lean. Stay here. Keep breathing. Or you can lift one foot or the other foot. Three steady breaths all the way in, all the way out to empty. Back to center. All right, shake, wiggle, anything else that wants to happen, any other movement or stretching, you've got five breaths. Four, three, two, and we'll find the top of our mat. From here, ground down into the feet. Feel the floor underneath you. Sometimes a couple little pushes help to organize my weight, organize my body. From here, inhale, lift the right knee, lift the hands up to the sky. Send the right toes back and back and back and back. Nice gentle land on the floor. Left hand pushes across the body towards the back of your mat. Right hand pushes across the body towards the front of your mat. Notice my feet are moving to accommodate this. We have three pushes. Right elbow comes to the right knee. So same side, cross the body, change direction, big circle. All right, so we're moving towards the back of our mat. I kind of turn my toes and then my weight follows. Nice and slow, nice and steady. Left knee lifts, arms lift, and send the left foot back and back and back. Landing softly, right hand crosses to push, one, two, and three. If you're confused, don't worry. This takes time to figure out. Left elbow comes towards the left knee Come back or cross over to the right. Big circle. Back to the front of your mat. So feel free to mirror me. Do the opposite of what I'm doing, doing what you see. Or listen to what side I'm saying and follow that way. So starting fresh, clean slate. Inhale, right knee, arms lift. Send the right foot back, back back and down. Left hand cross and push one, cross and push two, and three. Right elbow to right knee, cross over to the left. Big circle the other direction. Move towards the back of your mat. Nice and slow, keep breathing. Keep moving at the speed of trust as you send your foot back and down. And find your first push, one, two, to the back of your mat, three, to the front. Left elbow, left knee, cross to the right. Big circle, back to the front of your mat and back down. One more time in slow motion. Move half as fast, notice twice as much. If you got lost, find the front of your mat. We're gonna go super slow, you've got this. Right knee lifts, 
into our first push. This is going to take time, but we've got time. Keep breathing into your second push. Nice and easy here. Notice in those transitions when the body wants to speed up. Gently push a third time. Cross the body. Right elbow moves towards the right knee like you're moving through molasses. Over to the left knee. Keep breathing. Your breath will carry you through anything that's arising. Huge circle around the world arms. We're sending our weight to the back of our mat. Nice and slow. Take your time, find your balance, orient and reorient. Left knee is lifted, arms are lifted, and then we're moving back. Halfway there, you've got this. Keep breathing. Keep finding those slow movements into our push. One. All the way to extension, two, and three. Left elbow to left knee, journey over to the right knee, change direction, Huge circle with the arms, taking your time. Back to the front of your mat. Nearly there, keep moving slow. Set that foot down. Stand and notice. Feet hip distance apart. Let's bring our right arm out, thumb down. Palm behind the shoulder blades. Left hand on the heart. Feel the breath, feel the heartbeat. Marinate in the sensation of your own aliveness, your own inner fire, heat, power. One more huge breath here, all the way in, all the way out. Soften the arms down. Back to the front of your mat if you're not there already. Inhale, arms reach up. Find length, maybe gentle back bend. Exhale to fold, hinging from the hips rather than the knees or the spine. Spine stays long all the way down if possible. Inhale, half lift. Long spine, long legs. Exhale, fold as far as you can fold. All right, hands plant underneath the shoulder blades. Step one foot back and then the other foot back, high plank. You guys know I love a good high plank hold. We're gonna be here for nine breaths. If any part of your brain, body, or soul just went nine, swan, not again, not nine breaths. Drop to your knees, make it sustainable. If you're here, push into the fingertips, push into the knuckle pads. That's keeping your wrists and elbows and shoulders safe. Don't pipe the hips up, don't sag the hips down, right in the middle. Strong breath here, find your resolve. We have seven more breaths. And six. Five. Four. Three. You've got this, we're so close. Two. And one. Push back to down dog, or if you love the vinyasa, exhale down, 
Inhale to lift. And exhale into your down dog. We have five breaths here. If you want to drop to your knees into puppy pose or into child's pose, feel free to do so. Make this practice your own. Listen to what your body needs. If you're not in down dog, find your way back. Inhale the left heel high. And exhale, step the left foot forward. Maybe help it with the left hand, get right where it wants to be. Back heel moves down, windmill, warrior two. Find evenness in your arms, make sure you're not souping. Let the sides of the waist melt back, let the sides of the neck melt back. Find a sense of ease here, two big breaths. Inhale, your front arm pulls you forward, up and over, dancing warrior. And exhale to side angle. Into your flow, two huge breath cycles, in and up, down and forward. One more time. Pause here. Step your back foot forward slightly and into a balance. Hips and shoulders are facing the side. Maybe have your hand post on a book, on the leg, into half moon. Lift, lengthen, and open. Two huge breaths. Slowly, steady, set that foot down into dancing warrior. Exhale, both arms down. Right arm roots you down, lift that back heel. Left arm turns you into a twist. Your heart is moving towards your front knee. And exhale to release. From here, maybe use your hand to help step that foot back. Step back, three-legged dog, maybe lift. If you want that vinyasa flow, feel free to plug it in now. Otherwise, straight into down dog. Three breaths. Right foot lifts, inhale, exhale, step it forward. Maybe use that right hand to get it right into where you want it to be. Back heel comes to the earth, windmill up, warrior two. Evenness in the arms, melt the sides of the waist, melt the sides of the neck, find space in the front body, two breaths. into our flow, pull the body forward, and then up and over, reverse the warrior or dancing warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath cycle all the way in, all the way out, and into our half moon. Step your back foot forward slightly. Hand can post on the leg, on a book, or on the floor. Start to lift. Hips and shoulders are opening to the left side of your mat. Find breath, find space. Two huge breaths here. Settling it back down into your lunge. Both hands come to the floor. Oh, sorry. Back into your lunge. Dancing warrior. I forgot we did that on the other side. Now we'll come down, back heel lifts up, left hand pushes into the earth, right arm opens your heart towards your front knee. Find a breath, find a space. And exhale back down. Hands find the earth, find stability. Maybe use your hand to help get that foot back a little bit. Inhale, three-legged dog into down dog. If you want to add that vinyasa, player's choice, it's all you. Three more breaths here. Exhale.
exhale when you're ready bend the knees step or hop forward inhale to half lift exhale to fold inhale carries us all the way up and exhale to land in your mountain pose step your right foot wide face the camera this time we've got left hand coming out thumb down come behind the shoulder blades right hand on the heart Find your breath, feel your breath, tune into your heartbeat, soften the muscles of the face, soften the base of the neck. On your next exhale, exhale the arms down and out, star pose, take up space in the world. You have a right to be here and the world needs your gifts. Big breath here. And then soften. Toes will turn out, heels will turn in into our horse pose or sumo squat. Hands can come at the heart or to the knees, the hips, overhead, you can mirror. Thousand options here. Wherever you land, we'll take five breaths. Just for fun, maybe lift the right heel up and set it down. The left heel up and set it down. Maybe alternate again or maybe both. Ooh, lay, lay, find your balance. And nice and slow, come down. Inhale, space. <sighs> and exhale, we'll step the feet wider than hip distance apart. We're coming down to the floor through a squat. First, if you have um, if you don't have a chair, rather, or something with chair height, make sure you've got that close. And then we're coming into a, our squat, Malasana or Garland Pose. I like to tease my body into this. The hips move, kind of move from one heel to the other. Let the knees move. Let everything in my body move as I soften and settle down. Heels can be on the earth or lifted, that's fine. Wherever you land, find where you want to put your arms. Maybe inside the knees, hands come into the heart. Maybe you just soften the heart and head and arms forward. Five breaths. Steady in, steady out. Finding full inhales, exhaling all the way to empty. Maybe notice the pause between the breath, that space of silence and stillness. Again, if this doesn't feel good, please don't do it. Listen to your body. You are the authority of your own experience. From here, we can just set the hips back and down. And we're coming into a crisscross pose. It does not matter what knee or what shin is in front. Grab in your chair. And then I like to put a little bit of a cushion on my chair or on my table in this case. Let me show you from the side. All I'm doing here is from my folded leg pose, I'm letting my pelvic bone root down. So I've got my lumbar curve. I'm not folding like this. Pelvic bone down, gentle lean forward. And you can adjust this, like how far, how close can I fold? We're moving into the restorative part of our practice. So as we're here, we'll keep the breath smooth and steady, but start to soften the edges and even out the texture. Stay right where you are for two more huge breaths. All the way in, all the way out. And then gently walk your support over to the to one side. I'm going left first. And so we're just kind of gently moving into the side body and into the right side of our rib cage, waistline, armpit. Big breath here, nice and gentle, 
steady rhythm. We'll go to the other side sometime in the next two or three breaths, setting yourself up and then softening. Sometime in the next two to three breaths, find your way up, and then we're just going to gently switch the shin that's in front, come back to center, and again you can adjust how far away your support is. I like to fold my arms and put my forehead on my forearms. You're welcome to also turn the head to the side or do anything that feels good in your body. Walk our support over to one side, and gentle lean, feel one side of your body, your waist, your ribs, your armpit, your hip, feel that opening, feel that space, keep breathing, steady, gentle breath. Sometime in the next two or three breaths, we'll transition to the other side. Again, feeling the space opening up in that side body from shoulder to hip. Nice, gentle breath in and out of that space. Release the holding patterns in the face. Soften the base of the neck. Invite any tension in the body to soften, to disintegrate. Two or three more breaths. And then we'll slowly find our way up. We're done with this for the moment. Feel free to move it off of your mat. And then we're going to start to set up some props. Um, so restorative is a little bit more prop intensive. I'm going to start with a towel folded in half. And then this is the folded edge up top here. Folding it one more time. And then one more time. So you've got kind of this long rectangle. And then as always, there's the invitation to be meticulous with your prop situation. If you have a little bit more tension in the shoulders, this might be enough. Option to add another blanket to it if you'd like. So again, I have my towel. If you have blankets, awesome, you can use blankets. My towel is folded in half. And then the opposite direction, fold it in half, make sure my edges are lined up, make sure there's no lumps coming in. And then fold in half one more time. 
So this is probably too many details, but whatever side my raw edges ended up on, I'm just going to alternate so that my raw edges are on the other side. I don't think it makes that big of a difference, but maybe it's an aesthetic thing, I don't know. All right. So we've got some height here, or you've just got a little cushion. Gonna bring your hips to meet that support. From here, option to put something where your knees are gonna land, if you'd like. From here, slowly use the arms for lots of support, use the core for lots of support. We're going to drape the spine one vertebrae at a time down and onto the blankets. Pretty good, huh? From here, soft and settle. Maybe the legs grow long. And some, a side note, sometimes it takes a few tries to figure out where everything lands. So if you need to get up, roll onto the side and be like, okay. You need to be right there, you need to be right here, and try again. Once you're comfortable under here, reach back, catch the towel under your neck, lift the head and neck, and then soften back down. So you can create a little neck cushion here. Arms can come to the hip points, to the sides. If you have your arms to the sides, I invite you to put the pinky edge of your hand down so that you're not torquing the arm and shoulder one way or the other way. So you've got pinky edge down. You can also do uh, square arms up or even reach the arms overhead. Just taking a moment to pause to reflect what is feeling good in your body in this moment. And then invite a softening, invite a melting throughout the body. Soften the gaze or even close the eyes. Allow the breath to soften. Noticing all the parts of your breath, the movement as it comes into the body, that gentle pause after, and then that slow exhale and the pause. One thing that you can use the breath for is to actually stimulate parasympathetic activity. And to do that, we're just gently extending the exhale. So maybe start by counting your breath. How many counts are you taking on your inhale? How many counts on your exhale? So mine's about four counts. And then you're just adding on to the exhale one count. So inhale four, three, two, one. Exhale five, four, three, two, one. Inhale four, three, two, one. Exhale five, four, three, Two, one. Feel free to keep with that or let it go. Body is soft and open. Letting all of your weight be held. So one last note is there are periods of silence in restorative yoga. I should have mentioned. I'm still here. We're just finding space to have our own experience.
sometime in the next three to five breaths, start to find movement in your shape. Maybe a full body stretch, any kind of circling, stretching, or other movement. To come out, I'm a huge fan of bending one knee at a time and slowly rolling onto your side and then pushing up. Pretty good, huh? Okay. We're moving towards a supported twist. We can keep this support. I will add, um, if you have some more tightness, then I would add to this. You can add blankets, pillows, couch cushions, anything to just give you more height here. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and bring out all the guns. From here, pick a hip, either hip. Hip comes right next to that support that you just created. Knees can be stacked or cascaded. What feels better in your hips? We wanna find length in the spine first, keep that lumbar curve, and then rotate with that lumbar curve, and then slowly drape the heart down towards that support. So we're twisting the heart down. Head can turn to either direction. Once your torso is down, allow any fidgeting, moving, or adjusting until you can be completely comfortable. And then again, softening the body, soften the breath. Find a sense of ease and openness here. My favorite question is how could I be 10% more comfortable here? Or even 5%. Sometimes I like to kind of hug my support, or arms can be out to the sides, overhead, back. You can play with it. Where does your body want to land? Feel the breath as it moves through the back body. About 60 to 70% of your breath capacity is actually in the back part of your lungs. See if you can be open to that spaciousness here. We won't stay here quite so long. Maybe enjoy three or four more breaths and then start to push the body up. Nice solid pressure with the hands. If you'd like a moment of movement here, please take it. And when you're ready, we'll switch sides. So the opposite hip comes right up next to your support. Knees can be stacked or cascaded. What feels better? We're finding length in the spine, keep that lumbar curve, keep that length as you turn the heart forward, and then slowly walk the heart back down onto that support. Again, head can turn to either side, arms can be anywhere they feel comfortable and relaxed, and soften back into the body, back into the breath, noticing the spaciousness in the body for the breath to move.
more steady breaths in and out. When you're ready, hands come by the shoulders and gently push and walk your way back up. From here, we'll set up for our final resting pose. I love support under the knees and I love support under the head. So I just moved two of my thinner rectangles down for my knees. For the head, what I'm going to do, you can keep the support. I'm going to unfold that long fold and then just fold it into a rectangle. And then notice the place where my folds meet. So see, I've got raw edges, raw edges, folded edges, folded edges. Where's the corner where the folded edges meet? I'm gonna put that corner at this point. It's, so my whole neck is supported and my whole head is supported. It's C7, T1. It's a little bit lower than you think. You can see it's kind of below the line of my shoulder. So when I lie down, that point goes right there. Again, it might take time to adjust your props to get really comfortable. The other things I'll advocate for are a blanket to cover your body and a washcloth or a shirt or anything to cover your eyes. Um, basically, please do whatever you need to to be the most comfortable for the next few minutes of our practice. Again, I like coming down on my side first. You're welcome to roll down if that feels better in your body. And know that it might take a couple tries to get everything happy. Arms can land wherever they feel most comfortable. And one last time, begin to soften the body. Feeling yourself being met by the complete and unconditional support of the earth. Feeling that breath soften and smooth out. Feeling the body open and release. Please stay right where you are if you're comfortable. And I'll end our practice with a poem. It's one I've read recently, so it might be a repeat, but it's so good. Okay, it's from Rumi. It's called Elephant in the Dark. Some Hindus have an elephant to show. No one here has ever seen an elephant. They bring it at night to a dark room. One by one, we go in the dark and come out, saying how we experience the animal. One of us happens to touch the trunk, a water pipe kind of creature. Another, the ear, a very strong, always moving back and forth fan animal. Another, the leg, I find it still, 
like the column on a temple. Another touches the curved back, a leathery throne. Another, the cleverest, feels the tusk, a rounded sword made of porcelain. He's proud of his description. Each of us touches one place and understands the whole in that way. The palm and the fingers feeling in the dark are how the senses explore the reality of the elephant. If each of us held a candle there, and if we went in together, we could see it. I'm so grateful to have been able to be here with you today. Please feel free to direct message me or e whatever. I'm on all the socials if you have questions. And again, if you're comfortable, you can stay there for a while. Bye, guys.